Hello, it's Indira from Indie Arts Creations. Thanks for joining me. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. So today I'm going to do an eight by eight um, string and chain pour. So I wanted to combine the two just to kind of just to kind of see the difference in the patterns that they make. Uh, we're going to have a black negative space and for our colors I'm not sure if you saw one of the other videos, but I had mixed too much and so I had some left So I think that I'm going to dip in this color or this cup which the colors are blue pink Yellow which is made green now um and a lighter blue i'll list the correct names of the paint the paints uh in the description so we're going to start with getting some black on our canvas and what i noticed about this technique because i've tried it a couple of times is that you don't want too much paint because when you have too much negative space then when you go to pull the chain or the string, um, it just doesn't pull that great because it's too much of whatever your negative space is. So for us, it's going to be black. And so when, so I've only done it with the strings. And so when I've done it, I would have liked the color to pull through more. And it was, um, I don't know how to say it, maybe like overtaken by the black. So I'm going to try to smooth this out as much as possible to prevent that from happening. So what my thought is, is that, like I said, I have these chains. So I have the regular chains also because they did come in. But I'm going to just use this chain just to see. This chain is from, it was a necklace from the dollar store. And I just cut it in half. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to have these. I'm going to do maybe like a, a zigzag type of pattern. And then with the string, I'm going to do like a candy cane sheet and see what we get. Uh, I need to get the torch, so I'll be right back. I painted in two different locations, and so I totally had forgot the torches in the other room. So get out any air bubbles. That looks like it has a lot of blue. it down that way. I'm trying to get some of the like pink and yellow if the yellow hasn't all turned into green. Let's go for one more and this time so we might not we might we may not have enough room to put the um strings on and if we don't it's okay i wanted to try it but we could try it another time and this time i'm going to do the, sh the chain going in the opposite direction Okay, so 
So I will pull them all in the order that I place them. So I will pull this one off first. I'm going to put it right into the water. So I have a cup of water here. So those colors came out nice. You can see some of the other colors in the blue. I'm not sure if it's because these chains are so big that we're really not getting any definition in it. I think that it could be that, but I'm not going to say it's totally that. We may not be getting any definition in the chains because of the canvas being small also. So I can definitely try this again on a larger canvas. Um, but yeah, I'm starting to like these little string and chain pours so I will tidy up these little areas that don't look like they have any paint and bring you in for a close-up hello back for the close-up starting in that left corner with the left flower so I'm pretty pleased with how the chain um, reacted in terms of I saw a lot of blue on the chains as I was putting it down on the canvas but actually we were able to capture some of the other colors that were in the cups so I'm very pleased with that if you could please leave a comment what did you what are your thoughts what would you like to see in the future if you're new to my channel and you would like to see future videos please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're notified when new videos come out and until we meet again cheers to painting